Dang, I miss this. I feel bad. The more I keep playing this game, and the kind of way I'm playing it, it's going to be close to 100% run. I'll have to pace myself so this doesn't, like, I don't run myself out on this game. Luckily, we have Overwatch for that. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. Uh, so let's go back into the gullet, or the, uh, the, whatever this place is. Uh, Delver's Row. We still have another quest to turn in somewhere. You have to clone your C drive into an... Well, I feel really bad that I missed this, and I might do it this year. Is uh, Again, I don't actually have control over my finances, even though I, I do have good part-time work. I got several hours in today. I was really proud of myself. Um, but if it's on Black Market Friday, I'm going to get a external like couple terabyte... H di like hard disk drive, um, and keep the SSD in my computer, and just have that extra storage somewhere else. It's the smell of cardamom that drew you, no? Or perhaps the sting of fresh pepper. But usually, like, or maybe you see. At least I think they were on sale last bite. year, like on Amazon or some other what good websites for computers. Just like a big fat. 1 to 10 terabyte of external hard drive. Then you'd best ask elsewhere. She leans close and lowers your, her voice. But careful. If the Mataru overseer hears there's a sickness, might be he has more questions for you. Hmm. So I thought she'd be the one to have it. She does not. Yeah. Um... When I researched building my computer, I was really torn between getting, I think I have 250 of uh, SSD versus like I could get a, uh, a, a terabyte or a, whatever the next one up was of, of um, hard disk drive. I wanted it quiet and I wanted it fast. Looking for something to sharpen the senses. Pine seed one. Oh, actually, I need solutions. I didn't see that. This is some kind of ingredient for other things we do. Yeah, we'll do that. Cool. Did I really... Dang it. My bad. But yeah, SSD loads faster. It's quieter. It's basically instant. Didn't have to look it up. You're a blacksmith. You're not going to have it. Let's see if the bug person has it. Uh, supplies? Uh, my healing attuned, arcing reflection, palm, bunch of armors, basically a bunch of stuff that we sold. Nope. Huh. Busting with shops and suspicious characters, one of them is bound to have it. Okay. Let's we'll keep looking. See if you have it. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. I need medicine for Drowner's Lung. Eh? I hope you are not ill. But never mind. If the Mataru come asking, I will not tell. That's also true, Sky. SSD is a lot more expensive based on how much things you're getting. But Drowner's Lung getting. is very serious. Very deadly. But the last thing I'll say on it is, if you connect an external hard drive to your computer and you download something, you can decide what goes there first. So just keep like your games and your uh, your things that require quick load on your SSD. Everything else can go over there on the, the hard disk. The cure is not cheap, but how can one put a price on good health? He grins marvelously and waggles eight fingers on the countertop before you. If the price seems high, there is a certain little favor you could do for me instead. You're not really my type. Uh, uh, no, Amiko, this is not what I mean. Uh, <clears throat> he clears his throat and loosens his collar, his face darkens. And now we set him off balance to get a better deal. 
There is a certain merchant here who needs to not be here. Go on. This merchant runs a shop at the end of the street. People know oh. him as the Spindle Man. Well, I can't kill him. If you get rid of it, then I will give you the medicine. He nods, the spectacles flashing in the candlelight. Uh, hold on, not so fast. Do they call him that because he carries a spindle or because he's got spindly legs? He studiously ignores Adair. I mean, I could just straight up buy it, but let's see where this goes. Come on, let's get a drink of firmness. Maybe we can get more experience by doing like both. Let's save it first, just in case we're messing something up. Harsh medicine. Oh, wow, we'd get a positive. Your snooping has upset some of your neighbors. It cheaters in disgust. The elf gnashes her teeth. His is a small mind with small concerns. What do you care for him? You. The elf abruptly falls silent, her mouth still hanging open. The Vithrak drops her mind like a toy it has grown bored with. Its attention, it turns its attention to yours. You feel it shuffling through your thoughts as though it were turning pages in a book. Images arise in your mind, memories. You see Peatley stifling her coughs as she tells you about the Drowner's Lung Medicine. And you see er Erenzo. Hmm. See, I, uh, these kind of creatures are, are like chaotic, neutral, or just neutral, so they really don't care one way or the other. But she's, he's, this person, or thing, or it, she, whatever, saw Peatley and sees Renzo. I'm going to try and muster my willpower. You push the Vithric out, and your mind clears for one blissful moment. Then the creature squirms past your defense and renews its invasion. Let us see. Let us see. The Vithric delves deeper. It sees you and Renzo stop, talking to the merchant. You ask about the Drowner's Lung Medicine, and Renzo begins to answer. The Vithric chitters with interest. It doesn't seem I can push him out. Hold on, just let it keep looking. It continues pushing in your memory, gentle but determined. Okay, that's... You know, it's a little, it's just being gentle, that's... I like it. The conversation with Renzo plays out. It tells you about the Spindle Man and offers a man in exchange for killing him. The Vithrak eases out of your mind. What is your business with the cellar, woman? Its eyes twitch with curiosity. Associates stare with you unblinking. Wow, there's two different options to kill, and they both give off <laughs> minor positives to the person. Cellar woman? The one who calls herself Ernesto. <laughs> uh, Ernesto is a man. As you say, we discern no difference. Well, you see, one hat. Never mind. It, never mind. Uh, it's Ernesto. What is this droning sound? You have a fly in your teeth? No, I, I, re I really don't. Um, Ernesto wants me to kill you in exchange for the medicine. Yes, this Ernesto speaks little to us, but her thoughts say much. We know she plots against us. What's your range of mind reading? But you, you do not care about Ernesto, only the medicine. Let us tell you an excellent secret. It nearly dances with excitement, tapping its curved claws together. The elf sways and claps softly. There is a hidden entrance to her storeroom. Its eyes flash and flicker. Follow the wooden catwalk east of her shop. This is where she moves supplies in secret for Dario. Why are you telling me this? We want to see you betray Ernesto with her own secret. Take the medicine you desire. 
It sidles closer. The ogre and the elf also take a couple steps forward, their eyes blank and expressions still. If you also exterminate her, then we can sell you special things at special prices. Oh, man. Uh, hmm. Though the other seller women and seller men might think angry thoughts of you then. Oh, yeah, that would suck. Uh, tell me what you know about Ornezo. She fears us. Fears that we will gather and scatter her secrets. Ernesto sells many things to common people, but also to powerful criminals who command many. This is why her shop has a secret entrance. Follow the wooden catwalk east of her shop. This is where she moves supplies in secret for Dario. Okay. Maybe there's other things back there besides the medicine we need. And now I'm thinking about it. We wouldn't have, even though we would have gotten this quest earlier, we would not have gotten the ability to look around. Because we had to get, we had to complete Dario's thing first. Uh. I'm listening. Stealth. Can do. Ooh. More secrets. Ho, 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 ho. Hammer and chisel. Easily done. Dang it. Wait. Yeah, no, we're good. That was the gun we were thinking about getting. Hopefully this is the medicine now. Don't mention it. Yeah, medicine. Oh, that was totally worth it then. And we got a bunch of experience for it. Heck yeah, that was the best decision. <laughs> no, we're not gonna kill him. But that was the best decision. Also, what is this? Crafting. Oh, we have the ability to make a bunch of crafting. Fried ugly? Oh, wow. T I need to be looking into this stuff. Wow. <laughs> Forgetful night. <laughs> Wow, that's actually really good. And it's a bucket. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I need... Uh, we're going to look into crafting a lot more later, I think. Keeping on getting a lot more raw ingredients. Cool. So now we have the thing and we got the, the gun for free. Might as well just equip it. Now, how much did we lose... Nothing, I think. We lose range. Which is fine. But we also gain the ability to upgrade it. Very cool. You can't upgrade this? No, you can't. So apparently if you see the plus next to an item, that means you have the ability to upgrade it now. Um, but if you don't see it, you don't... You obviously can't because you don't have the the money or the items. So is this upgradable? No, it's not. Plus one con dexterity afflictions. You have a neck. Does anybody not have a neck piece? We're all necked out. Excellent. Cool. Well, that was nice. Found the found the thing. Uh, to the gullet. Again, happy Tuesday. And another reminder, um, this next week, the 5th through the 
14th. Um, I will be out. I take Feel it the Hazanui runs a tight ship. Do you ever disagree with orders? Naturally. And I bark about it until the boss tells me to stand down. You Rawataians aren't much for passive aggression, are you? As I was saying, I was going to be out that week because I'll be driving. Um, if any of you guys are praying people, please pray that I get there safely. Um, last time I had to do a long drive because of my condition, for whatever reason, I'd usually have a limb that was asleep at any one time. Not the most fun. I think I took two breaks where I was just literally about to fall asleep. So, But I have different medicine now, so maybe that'll help me uh, with, with that whole issue. But keep Need that in something. mind for me, please. Here's your medicine. Her eyes, watery and red, dart between you and the file you hold. She coughs into her fists. That could save an awful lot of sick people. She wipes her hand on her shirt and holds it out to you. We're going to do our first, like, nice, super nice thing. Just take it. She takes the bottle from you and uncorks it. A sharp, piney odor escapes. She breathes it in and smiles. That's the stuff, all right. Thank you. That's from me and from the children of the Dawn Stars. Major positive children of Dawn Stars. Major positive gullet. And we got something. We got a really cool thing. <gasps> Plus one priest restoration power levels. Set into this ring is a chunk of stained glass from Haglet's Halgot's Citadel, known as the Godhammer Citadel. The glass is warm to the touch, given to you by the uh, Aothesian, Aothesian priest Peatley for aiding in her mission to care for the afflicted. This ring represents renewal and compassion for the downtrodden. Holy flip, that ring is amazing. <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I better start treating the sickest ones. Go do it. Oh my goodness, she didn't even have a ring. This is the best ring you could have gotten for no reason. By the way, that literally just means that her healing spells are, like, if anybody's played D&D, it's kind of casting a level one cure, uh, casting cure wounds, that's a level one spell, at like, second level. For free. It's pretty boss. So her heals are that much more effective. Is that stealing? Yes it is. I'm not gonna steal from her right away, so no, never mind. Cool, so we did our good deed for the day. Let's go keep turning in quests. I don't remember where the next place is, but we're, we have to tell somebody that we got them food, essentially. Um, because the other good thing we did was get some like a an orphanage out of here, which was good. So, read anything good lately? Hey, what do you think Properties of illusion. Oh, and Catabolt's treatise on the finer points of corrosives. Ah, glad I asked. That makes all the sense. Pardon me. Really long load times. I don't have a lot of. I don't have anything really running in the background, so I'm confused sometimes. And it's doing something weird every now and then. I'm looking for the person I'm supposed to turn this into. It might help if I just actually look at the quest. We'll just look at the quest. Actually, I wonder if it's that. I don't know what you're doing, but if I X you out, does it X the game out? No. Might have been the galaxy. GOG galaxy. I actually think it was a, a, a noise. He's kind of like the uh, patriarch here. I think. Probably. Maybe. Oh, the Prince Baby will supply food again if Moraparo work with them. I have no choice but to hope this venture together fares better than our last. 
We will accept the Principe's generosity and work to return it tenfold. Don't tell him that. They'll hold you to it. Never can I thank you enough, Watcher, who has the ear of both kith and gods. Always the Raparu will know of your kindness. Just to reaffirm, kith literally just means all the humans, Amawa, dwarves, elves, orlins, and godlike. Jiminy Monka! Nice to meet you all! Nice to see you again. Thank you again so much for raiding on. How is your game going, sir? I know. I remember you were doing um, all your Should you companion quests on normal. Hope you're having fun with that. Know that the Raparu but truly appreciate the, uh, the fun raid. Holy cow. Welcome to all of the uh, Jiminy Cricket people. As I can see, that's why I think you came with that name anyway. But happy Tuesday or Wednesday, wherever you are. Shundra, nice to see you again. May Amira's winds ever fill your sails, boy. It, I you agree. This is a great game. I'm glad I stayed away from us. it. To then come back and get it on sale. And playing it on the hardest difficulty is a lot of fun. We finally got to go back and fight the uh, the dude in the old city. The, the big boss who was kicking our butt when we were down there too early. So, progress. <laughs> yeah, it was on sale when I got it. It was, uh, I want to say it was 20 bucks when I got it. I essentially got it when it was on sale and then just kept it around until I could open up my, uh, my schedule to play it. Which, once I got sick, it made it very easy to get, you know, my schedule. So this, is this a... Because we just got back into Nekataka, so second time in Nekataka. I am going to be getting the DLC. Again, I'm not in control of my finances, but I've kind of been telling people, telling, um, hey, I've been working more, my sickness is getting better, is it cool if I get these DLCs? Now, here, here's a question. Since you have the DLCs, Jiminy, is it helpful to get them this early in my campaign? I'm only level 8. So is there DLC stuff to do now? Or is it literally all for uh, after or later levels? So I can... I don't have to get it right now to get into it. Help Seraphin. Question Undyne at the bathhouse. I don't mind going back to the bathhouse. That's pretty good. Uh, we don't have a mirror party, though. Investigate Parsons in the Lighted Path. Deliver missives to two people somewhere else. Serpent's Crown, so top of there. Then you can complete the game and then do the DLC. Because that's what I thought. I'm not 100% sure. You just did the Puraku quest. This, uh, this one? I think this was a dragon, so that's what made me very interested to do it. Yeah. It seemed like fun. I'm, I'm going to go do that one next time. Next time we leave Nekataka, we're going to go... I like doing bounties when we can. And I think I s ran away from her. <laughs> no, I killed her. Okay. Brass Citadel. Cool. We did that one. Yeah, basically, I think we should just go to each part of the city and explore again. Island northeast of Maje. Cool, cool, cool. I skipped this one. I didn't want to kill this one because it was a Hawana captain. I don't want to kill Hawana for no reason. And this is from Valen Trading Company. Who are kind of like the bureaucrats. Royal Deadfire is kind of bureaucratic too, to be fair. Symbols of death, we can almost do that. Ooh, so maybe the next level we can go talk to the Captain Ferrante. That's going to be great. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, but I don't think we have anything more in the gullet, so let's go ahead and leave the gullet. And do, turn in all our requests up there. Another question for you, Jiminy. I don't know if you have a, uh, a pet... But our ranger bro, is there a way to see the pet stats? For the life of me, I can't find a way to see the stats. Which is really what I just, I want to see. I want to see its attacks, I want to see its armor, I want to see its full health all the time. I, all I see is her in the character screen. Because I'm really hesitant to send the bird in. Okay, cool. 
I've avoided doing a lot of the synergy uh, talents from her, but I like her because she seems to interrupt on hit, which is pretty darn cool. Leave. No Valian spy is coming through on my watch. I'm a merchant. I have business inside. You want to see our walls, our cannons, our powder house. You must think I'm an idiot. Back. You got one thing right. Apparently. Okay, I think we... I don't think we have anything in the gunsmithy. Fleetmaster's office? I liked the quest that ended here when we chased down the dude who stole something from the shop. That was pretty funny. Fleetmaster... I'm not trying to steal, I'm trying to click you. My favorite privateer. Aha! Clear skies. You don't have to worry about a Scylla wave skipper anymore. Pirates are adept at scattering when threatened. But this makes planting your boot on the neck of a straggler all the sweeter. Now here's something interesting. I thought since we killed a pirate that we get a negative with the Principe. We did not. We just got the positive with the Dead Fire Company. I would keep my privateer busy. You will speak to me when you are ready for work, yes? Hmm. Your target is Radolf, a Valian captain and seeker of lost ruins. There is no wicked length he would not go to plunder the dignity of these isles. If I pass it, because again, that's that's a Valian person. I'm afraid if we kill the Juana captain, we get negative Juana. If I feel if we attack the a Valian captain, we'd get negative Valian. Then I will ask nothing more of you. Return. So let's see if he has like a different one right away, or that's My the only one he has. Privateer. Your target is Same Radolf, thing. a Valian captain and seeker of lost ruins. I'll take it. There is no wicked lengthy with my confidence swells to hear. Ask away my privateer, our enemy. Let no one say okay. aha. The Nothing more. Hmm. I really want to steal from you, but I'm not going to. That's okay, though. That's A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I think it was Galaxy. That I loaded a lot better. you, Shoti. For holding to your beliefs, even against the wishes of your superiors. You really mean that? Because I thought you didn't much like me. I mean it. It took me entirely too long to learn to do the same. I still can't let you through. Dang it. Okay, sorry. False. Um, I think that was the only quest here, though. Was the bounty thing. Whoa. The Ranga Nui leads us, but he represents all of Actually, Ranga. I remember talking to somebody in the basement of this place. Maybe we have a quest for that. Or we will find somewhere. Exploring is really rewarded in this game. I love that. You get experience for looking into a building. You get experience for looking somewhere else. You randomly find a quest. Um, we'll check his office first. I talk to the Quartermancer before we go down. Hi again. Good to see you again. The Hawazwani yells at you? Oh, all the time. She screws a, her face up into a mock of seriousness. She still keeps... She can't keep from smiling. Where's my white leaf? Stop! And it's bugging out the things in here again. Interesting. It's not, no, stop daydreaming! Sabromi, if you lose your ledgers again, I'll have you clean the latrines. Ugh. <laughs> time I didn't realize she knew my name best office worker who always seems happy when she give her work Grins. Um, what was with all the black powder at Hasongo a look of surprise passes over her face she tries to cover it with a grunt Noticed that, did you? Saltpeter is one of our chief resources. In Rawatai. And we believe in putting resources to use. Now you can see why we didn't want the Valians nosing around our fort. I'm actually going to ask, what happened to your hand? 
She extends her arm, holding the prosthetic between you. It's an exquisite piece, with reinforced joints in each of the fingers and a smooth, sanded finish. It happened a year into my first command. We were chasing pirates along Relati Relati's south course, uh, coast, and they landed a shot right next to our magazine. A lucky hit. I ran below. The fire was already spreading and making for our powder stores. Mm, listen. I smothered what I could with my uniform, pulled the rest away with my own hands. Ooh. I like doing clever, but I also like this one. If you hadn't, you and your crew would probably have died. She nods. We don't get to choose our challenges, do we? Just the way we meet them. There's a cost to every victory. And, and the win goes to those willing to make a sacrifice. She considers the wooden hand, turning it into the light. You sense satisfaction in her gaze. I'll bet you already know a thing or two about that. And if you don't, dead fire will teach you soon enough. Okay. Not bad. Um, let's go downstairs. Can we all go the same way, please? Class? Thank you. Jeez. Now I'm excited to go kill the dragon dude on the bounty, Jiminy. You got me on that. Because it's just a really cool... Bounties seem just fun. Anyway, he acts like I he's gonna do one think... thing, then he does something yep. else. That's it's called an... strategy. And don't Clear be skies. Oh, I thought we talked to you. It's a trading post, of course. You say so. I just did. I thought you would have had another quest. Guess not. That's fine. Uh, I don't think we've been in the barracks. Last time we are here, I think we just went straight to that dude and walked away. What have we here? Ooh. These rifles look perfectly maintained and ready for use at a moment's notice. Most of these papers are letters to home. Almost all praise Deadfire's weather. Aye, aye. Hi. Hi. Just, just mind your business. We're good. And... Oh, 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 heck yeah, I'll take a ruby. Uh, it is not Jiminy, so we've died, I think, two times? Um, but no, I did not pick the hard, basically it's hard mode. I'm not gonna pick hard mode. That, that, this is fun hard enough. But that definitely even sounds like more fun, now that we kind of know the game even more. But yeah, hardest difficulty is plenty. Uh, in terms of what's the like, helpers, how do you mean? Like, uh, besides your main party, more people would help you? Is that what you mean by helpers? I'm thinking about... Uh, I think it'd be fun to do a solo run, because I think if you do solo with no party members, you get like a benefit to yourself. And there's a lot of spells in the uh, mage tree that I think would be fun, because it basically just does huge AoE damage to people around you. I think that'd be fun. It's reminding me of Mass Effect. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the name of that class is, but you like go in and explode, and then teleport again to go in and explode. Just seems like fun. Replayability, man. To get the diff this play with your other characters. I'm still considering bringing in a paladin, but I don't know how the paladin plays. I'm still going back and forth between our, so, our main character. Does Gilded Vale still reek of spoiled grain and burnt stew? Wouldn't know. Decided to go places where I could be of more use. I didn't realize farmers were in such short supply in the Deerwood. That really all you think I can do? Oh, I meant no offense. You know how to handle a tankard as well. It's true. Uh, I'm going back and forth between if I want um, my druid to be... I already know I like him when he casts spells. 
I'm trying to decide if I want him to be melee after that or not. It's a big perk of this game style. You can try it on different difficulty and have you... After you play the story mode. Yeah. Single... Like, solo it. She claps her hands together excitedly. For going nibbing on her bottom lip, she beams you a sunny grin. Guess what? Now go on and guess, really. You had another dream? Not a god's darn one. And ain't that just it? Oh, well that's good. I feel so fine. Like I swallowed a star and now I got light bursting from my chest. That's good. Can you see it in me? This happiness? It's all on account of you, Watcher. Well, dang. She is definitely a loon. She just seems very gullible. I'm more into Maya. She's she's kind of neat. Um, that's great. <laughs> Everything's different now. The world looks so dang bright, doesn't it? Even at night. But we just got a, a ring for her that increases all of her all priests healing by one power level. Holy cow, that's amazing. Uh, she tips her face up, staring straight into the blazing sun. The lack of nightfall, apparently, isn't enough to deter, to jar her from her thoughts. The sky goes all glittery with stars. Must be what the gods see when new souls are born. As Shodi saunters off, she sighs with contentment. I love little things like that in the, in the game. Okay. I think we have something in here in the temple. So far, we're, we're kind of nailing all the quests as we go. Jiminy, thank you again for the raid. The host, truly appreciate it. Glad to know you, and I hope you have a nice night's sleep. Hope to see you later. I've never seen a temple like this. The morning council wouldn't approve, but it is beautiful. Take care. Uh, Agni. This woman's unceasing smile and direct, violating gaze gives the strong impression of someone selling something. Light of Aethys be upon you. I don't like that feeling. Uh, Burns said you could tell us about the partisans of the lighted path. Your friend guided you truly. Gadarian Bosch has honored me with the duty of helping his message reach all of the faithful. Oh yeah, this is the crazy dude who we think is doing a cult. We basically. answer the shining god's call. He shows us the way, and we march in his wake. Already, the vanguard prepares to make its journey, with more soon to follow. Uh, ooh, those are all good questions. Uh, who are the vanguard? Gadarian Bosch lead the vanguard. They are the most righteous of the partisans. They will be the first to join the ranks of Aethys. The first to charge at his call. Adair leans in toward you. Baron said something about the vanguard. You don't think he's that dumb, do you? We've seen several of those people in this game. Agni's eyes shift momentarily to a dare, then back to you. She says nothing, merely re-raising her smile. Um... Uh, how would you join up with Aethus? Chase him in a boat? Yes, in fact. We will follow him along the lighted path. When the time is right, he will welcome our souls into his legion. Guderian Bosch has seen it. Uh, just your souls, then? Not, uh, not your bodies? That's what it sounds like. Um, do you have a list of the people in the Vanguard? We want to see if a friend is among them. The Vanguard know their own, and Gadarian Bosch knows them. Beyond that, we keep such information private. Figured. Adair turns his head away to hide a look of exasperation. But then it shifts, his eyes suddenly hopeful. He looks back at Ogni. If they know their own, what do you think they'd say to a couple new members? Can we be in the Vanguard, too? I'm afraid you cannot. The Vanguard is reserved for the most faithful among us. You have not even joined the Partisans. Well, we have very good diplomacy. So, that I have only just learned of the Partisans is circumstance, not a measure of faith. But bam How right you are. Forgive me. Quite all right. I did not mean to cast doubt on your character. Unfortunately, even if I were to initiate you right now into our order, it would be too late to join the Vanguard. Well, balls. Their ship is docked right now in Nikitaka. Oh. And set to depart at any moment. Adair looks at you with wide eyes. You think he could be on it? If he left right after we did, we gotta go. 
They won't take you. But there will be more ships to follow. Stay and learn about the partisans of the lighted path. And, and we're gone. Uh, that's a real nice offer. We'll uh, think about it and get back to you. Bye! Agni nods her expression no different than it was when you arrived. Yeah, that's actually creepy. I want to make sure there's nothing else we need to talk to for Shodi. It is the light that has led you here. Uh, no. Uh, Norgan? My Aethys is light. Obviously not. Hungry? Come on up. Don't be shy. Uh, give a donation. The Shining God will bless you for it, sir. That cool. coin will help those in need. Sure. Uh, great. Easily done. Besides, oh, I didn't take that on purpose, apparently. Dream journal. Ooh. Got ten of it back. <laughs> uh, okay. Nothing for Shoddy. So I guess, should we actually quickly go back to the, the dock? Just in case? Oh, might as well. Just in case there is, like, an internal timer I'm missing. South exit. We'll go to the docks really quickly, because we're trying to catch somebody. Uh, hold on. I think it's Queen's Birth? No. I think it's just this area. Then we'll run to the dock and try and get him. You hear someone call out for your attention. Encounter? Encounter? 